Hello and welcome to its parallax mapping water tutorial. Today I show you how to create something like this water effect. If you have never done parallax mapping before, I have some tutorials on this channel. I link them in the description box. To get this effect, we'll need some tileable textures. You can use some textures from the internet, like tileable photo textures or even hand painted textures, but for sake of this tutorial, we're going to create our own. I'll be using Click Studio Paint, but you can use the image editor of your choice. So let's set a new document, 256 by 256, should be big enough. And we start in by focusing on the center point and drawing in some circles like bubbles and connecting it with other bubbles until we have filled off enough space. Now we'll do a grid with 128 by 128 pixels. What this grid allows us is to exchange the upper and the lower part or the left and right and paint in the blank middle space and do this once more, whichever you said you haven't done yet, and you'll get a fully tileable texture. So what we can do now is take down the opacity at some points by erasing some stuff. Now let's extend our canvas to 512 by 512 and put four copies of our texture. And if we run a Gaussian Blur, or a Blur in general, to get everything a bit softer, we can just focus on the middle afterwards and crop our texture back down to 256 by 256, so that there isn't a seam which caused through the blur. We can also do a second texture with some little waves, nothing special, just draw some little, little tiny hills. And you can do the same as we did before by copying and replacing parts to make it fully tileable. And afterwards you can erase some stuff or run a blur or whatever you like. So once it's done, we have our water textures. Now we need a map that's prepared to work with these textures. What you need is a very bottom layer, which is the water color. Then you need a normal ground layer, which has a hole punched out where water is supposed to go, so that needs to be transparent. And everything else is just normal parallax layers, like parallax layer, light layer, shadow layer, etc. etc. So from here, I'm assuming you're using Gav's graphics layers plugin for parallax mapping. I leave a link down in the description. So since our collision tile set will be sitting at zero, Let's put everything else above, so it doesn't show through. So put watercolor layer on 1, the water effects on 2, your normal ground layer on 3, and all of these should be shown below the player. So here's what your setup should look like. Now while we use layers underscore s for normal parallax layers, we'll be using scrolling layers for our water textures, so that they move and get a sense of flow. Here are my example values, but you can play around and see what fits your maps best. You can also play with the opacity values to get the effect just right. Also, we did use a black and white texture because we're using the screen layer mode, so just the white part will show up above our images. With that, we have a working water effect. If you have any questions left, leave them down in the comments. A comment, like, or subscribe would be much appreciated. Have a lovely day, and goodbye!